Hi. So we are interrupting the cottage renovation project to share with you guys our new project and new home. Come on in. <laughs> So I know right off the bat, if you guys have been following for a while, you are gonna have so many questions for me right now, seeing that we just found our dream home in California. And you're gonna have questions about, what about the cottage? What about Texas? What about California? What, what's happening? There were a lot of factors and a lot of life things happening that went into the decision to find a home in California. And if you have been following for a while, you know that I have lived in California for 15 years and Romeo and I have lived together in California for 14 of those years. And he is born and raised in California. And we are very much in that stage of wanting to start a family and figuring out what the next life path is for us. One of the major deciding factors and why this is happening now is that our lease was up and we really needed to make a decision on whether we were going to rent again for another year or start the journey of finding a place that was more permanent in California uh, that we could move into. Since we wanna start a family, it made most sense for us not to rent again and to start the journey of finding a, a more permanent place. We started looking at homes nine months ago. We found this home after looking at over 60 homes throughout California in all different areas. We found this place and we could not be more excited. It has a lot of character, a lot of original details that were kept, which is what I was really looking for. It's move in ready, which is what we were both looking for because we had to be out of our apartment. And it was very livable until we get to a point where we would want to do some renovation upgrades to the bathrooms and kitchen. So the, for the cottage, yes, we are finishing the cottage. We have tons of amazing projects still to do in the renovation and we have about six more months. Now I thought, and we both thought we would actually be done with the cottage by this year. So we kind of planned life accordingly. We still have six more months. So we will be back to the cottage early February to keep making pretty progress on the cottage. And the cottage was very much a investment property. We hope one day to turn it into an Airbnb, build some cottages in the back. Like you guys, if you've been following for a while, we wanted to kind of build some cottages and turn it into an investment property for our family. That's definitely on the horizon. Hopefully one day we'll do that, but we needed to find a more settled place to where we could see us starting our family. I would, and I would be overjoyed to get the opportunity to call this our forever home because it really, really is that special. So welcome to our formal living room. It's the space right when you walk in. It has a beautiful bay window that overlooks the rose garden, which is one of the reasons that I fell in love with this house. It also has the stairs leading up to the second story, which isn't quite a foot, it's not quite two full stories, it's more like a story and a half. The way that the land and the house is, is on the hill, it kind of like acts as a one and a half story. And it also has a fireplace. Now this is a dual sided fireplace. So if you follow me into the informal living room, family room where we will spend the most of our time, you'll see that there is also an entrance or view from the fireplace on this side as well. Both of the sides of the fireplace are different. They both have brass grates, but this one is all brick, whereas that one just has a brick detail. Everything about this house was incredibly unique and we just, we fell in love. It also has a mix of two different floorings, the original wood throughout the front of the house and upstairs, and also brick in a basket weave pattern. I fell in love with this detail when we toured the house and I, I just was like, this is so, it's so incredibly unique. I wanted to have to have it <laughs> kind of thing. During our search, we must have looked at over 60 homes. And the reason we started the search nine months ago is because our lease was up. It's coming up in a matter of days now and we have got to move into this house. We closed on this house a little over a month ago. The process was, Crazy. <laughs> I've never experienced anything like that. It was very different than buying our first house, which we will get into later on if you want to. One of the things that I noticed about this house when we moved in is that they painted 
everything white. But one of the details that we were looking for in homes was the original character. So this house was built in the 30s, the 1930s. It has original beams, but they were just painted white. I've had dreams about stripping these beams and the paint off of these beams so many times because I know what they're gonna look like and I'm gonna show you where they weren't painted in a different part of the house. But this is a great size family room. The ceilings in here are about nine foot, but the ceilings vary in height all over the house because of how the house is kind of shaped and the different outings that they've done through the years because I saw all of the additions that they had added. If you come this way towards me, these, the prettiest little lantern lights. I love these it's so much. So if you come this way off the main part of the house, up this way, and you do step up so don't fall. I have fallen like three times. And you come into this area and this is the dining room. Now this, dining room has the original color of the beams and they're beautiful. I cannot wait to strip the rest of the beams so that they all have this rich tone up in the ceiling and of course all of the walls are white but the, the brick flooring continues into this space as well. It's more of a narrow space here so we're definitely going to have to get a table that's more more narrow with seating that maybe kind of like goes underneath the table a little better um but it's it's perfect i mean coming from not having a dining room to having a dining room now here in california is great and i already have a piece of art if you follow it on the blog you saw i got this from the flea market and it's going to be so beautiful here the way that it ties in the richness from the beams onto the wall love this Coming off of the dining room, there are actually two entrances to kitchen. And I thought a lot about how we could redo this space later, way, way later. If you come this way, you'll come into the kitchen. And this is one of the spaces that I do want to update eventually. I feel like it has great character. I love the lighting. I love that the brick continues into this space but the cabinets are very dated. They're very old on the insides. There's some water damage in certain places. Um, I think overall we can just update this space and make it look more like a custom kitchen, but we are not planning on tackling any renovations in this house because what we were really looking for was move in ready. Live here without a construction zone and just be and do a lot of decorating projects along the way. I've already gone in the attic and looked at all like the, this fur down. That's this box right here and it goes wraps around all the side of the kitchen but there's nothing in it and it's not structural and I don't know why they did it. We can just relocate the vent for the AC and heat and get rid of it. Now this one above me is. This one is structural. This used to be we think maybe like a little porch or something, um, but the rest of the fur downs aren't. That means that we could bring the cabinets all the way to the ceiling, which you know I love. I like, honestly, I like this tile, but it fights with the brick on the floor. It's like you need one or the other, and so it is, it's still pretty beautiful. So this, for now, is going to be a beautiful kitchen to have, and you can see all of the windows in this space. This is a great little breakfast nook, too. Like, you could have a table here, but it's a little odd because this also goes out to the front porch this way. So it's like, where do you really put something? It's a little bit of a dead space. So I kind of want to reimagine the area and the flow here and make sure that we're maximizing the space because what we are lacking in this kitchen is a pantry. Just worrying me. <laughs> we don't have pan we never had a pantry in our apartment. Um, and that was always really a struggle, but I can see myself building something tall here, or I thought about closing up one of the entrances. This is the other entrance um, from the kitchen into the dining room. You can also go out from the dining room and the kitchen, which is why I like this entrance, out to the backyard, which is incredible, which I will show you after we're done with the inside, but this all opens up. These nails won't let me do anything. Trust me, it opens up. <laughs> So if we continue back out this way, outside, out of the dining room, and don't fall, there is a step. Got to get used to that step. You come this way, this is the last area on the main floor, which is the primary suite. And we know that the previous owners had this as their primary suite um, because they actually had it carpeted. But they did tell us that there is brick underneath. I'm not a big fan of carpet especially with a dog. But for now, we're gonna leave the carpet, but it's good to know that the brick is underneath. This is a 
little interesting little room. <laughs> it's got really high windows on this side and they're original. All of the original, all of the windows on the main floor are all original windows from the, when the house was originally built. Uh, they mostly are painted shut, so you know what project I'm going to do. Windows. I thought I would never redo windows and restore old windows again in my life, but here we are. <laughs> and I can't help myself. We have to do it. Also in this space are two skylights. So not only do the three windows let in a lot of light in the morning, but also the skylights let more light in throughout the day. So they're just really cool. And they have screens, so you could totally close them, which is wild. Hold on, let me show you. They gave us this little um, grabber thing, and it has a little on it, and then you can close the sun, the skylight. Isn't it wild? I've never, I've never seen that before. But it is nice being a but it is nice being a bedroom that you can close that up if you wanted to block out the sun. On this side, there's actually a closet. This is, we think is going to be my closet. I've kind of put a few things in here already. It kind of steps down, like the way that the house is on the land just offers a lot of like dimension. So there's a lot of steps in this house. This is plenty for me. And then it kind of goes underneath the stairs as well. So that we can use for storage for luggage, things that we don't need to access all the time. There's also nothing behind this wall. I can't figure it out. It's not the garage, it's an empty hole. So McKenna is curious. McKenna's gonna drill a hole and put a camera in it and go back there and, um, and see what's back there. Because if we could expand this closet that way, we could have a larger walk-in closet and then both Romeo and I's stuff can be in the same space or I could have more room. I don't know yet. We'll see when we stick a camera in there. So if you continue this way, you go through two French doors and again, you step down a couple of steps for all the dimension, but there is an ensuite, which is why we wanted to make this the primary suite and also the washer and dryer. Now I am not a big fan of having the washer and dryer in the primary suite. <laughs> Romeo loves, loves, loves doing laundry. Um, so I'm not a fan of it, but I think that it works. We also have another washer and dryer hookup in the garage, but it's really not ideal to have to go out there when you have one inside, but it does have these pull out door. When I was touring this house, I thought I broke it. Um, but it has these pull-out doors that close it up, which is super nice. And there's also more storage up top, a window, and another skylight all in this little area. There's a lot happening. Let's see. So it looks really nice when it's all closed up. There's also another little linen closet here. We can put like sheets and things in. And then you come down past the laundry into the primary bathroom. Now it doesn't have a tub, it's just a shower. And the bathrooms are something that I do want to update eventually, but they do, they are going to work so well for us right now. Um, it's just stylistically, I'd like to bring some of the character from the house into it, but also update some of the things. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the tile with the blue details, although it is pretty. I just don't think it's my particular style, so I would love to update it. There's also a lot of it. It's also in the shower. So it's also very silver metal in here, and I tend to lean towards brass or gold accents, so I'd like to update that. But all the cabinetry, everything is in good shape. The cabinetry in here definitely looks newer than the cabinetry in the kitchen, so we're actually able to save a lot of this, but we'll assess that later on. Um, but you guys know me, I'm all about saving anything and everything we possibly can. Even if we don't keep silver in this house, maybe I could use it for a different project or we can donate it to Habitat for Humanity so that they can, you know, a new family can use it too because it's in, per it's in great condition, it's just not necessarily in my staff. So you come out of the master suite back into the informal living room, which we will spend lots of time in, and then you change flooring here to the original oak floors, which are beautiful, to this gorgeous stair railing. I love this. I saw Christmas garland here for the holidays. It's just such a pretty actual focal point. Even though the fireplace is a focal point, this is also such a beautiful focal point in this space. And all of the treads along the staircase are all 
oak and they kind of turn as they go out. I don't know. I just, I fell in love. Um, so, when we go upstairs, it's not a full flight. Um, so, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight steps. And I don't think my mom's like, this is not a full flight of stairs. I'm like, I don't think so. We have like a little original kind of closet, linen kind of thing here. Um, we can use it for storage. Or this is space that's touching the bathroom that's up here. Um, so we may be able to use this space as part of the bathroom or something like that. But we're gonna keep as much of the storage as we possibly can because there actually isn't a lot of storage downstairs. There is a little storage upstairs, but you need all the storage you can get. So now you're kind of in the hallway. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. I think the only thing that could have been more perfect is if there was an actual two and a half bath, if there was like a powder bath that guests could use. That's not necessary. When you find this good of a property and then this beautiful of a home that gives us equal amount of character that I wanted and old that I wanted, but that's also livable and moving ready, like you jump on it. We have this closet too that they kind of built out um, just with some like shelving units. So um, we're thinking that maybe one of Romeo's closets is going to be up here for his clothing, even though he'll have to come upstairs to get ready. We think it'll be okay since this will also be Romeo's office and my DIY studio, but just where I keep my DIY supplies. So welcome to a bedroom. This is the second bedroom that you see. And it's beautiful. This room gets such great sunlight. All the rooms are really, really awesome in this house, which was like a huge plus. These rooms are larger than they were in any apartment that we've had in California. I did the rooms in the cottage in Texas way too big. I know that now. Noted that that makes a big room, but this, these are like the perfect size. This has a really longer kind of rectangular shape. It's going to be a great space for us to build out additional cabinetry for like all my DIY supplies. It also, oh, someone looks like you moved in already. <laughs> it also has this closet that's a decent, it's got a lot of shelves. Like, Someone had a lot of shoes that went in here. Uh, so this one, we're gonna see if it works for him or my stuff or how we can organize all of our things um, for both our businesses, really, but all oh my DIY supplies. Packing up has been um, enlightening to how many supplies I actually have. So we'll see how all this comes together. But this window doesn't get too much direct sunlight, but the window over here, does. This window has the most beautiful afternoon sunlight that comes in. Um, it's been really rainy and overcast in LA, so it's not coming in right now, but it's beautiful. So, if we continue out into the hallway, another thing about this house that we love is that it's very private, it's in a great neighborhood, in a great school district, it's quiet, it's quaint, it's feels like home, and that was huge. My mom actually came the day we closed and we had a slumber party. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, and this is beautiful. Look at the girl, welcome. W-E-L-C-O-M. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful room. It's also the room that gets the warmest. I feel like it's closest to the heater, so she loves that. Um, we actually had a slumber party here right when I closed. The day I got the keys, my mom flew in, and I ordered a mattress because we, we never had more than one bed here, so I ordered her a mattress for in this room. So this will be the guest bedroom, or mom's room. Mom's room slash guest bedroom slash hopefully 
a nursery one day when we start a family. This is a beautiful space. You can tell that um, maybe a one of the daughters lived here because I think the last owner had, the owners had two daughters. And you can tell because this wardrobe is kind of everything. Like, it's kind of nice. Upstairs actually has been renovated a tad or when they added on, they just went ahead and did new windows. So all the windows in here and in Romeo's office are all updated. So they're really, really nice. They slide, so they're not original. They slide open um, and everything has alarms and it's super, super secure here. So nice. And there's also another closet over here that I've kind of put some of my stuff in. It's a smaller closet. This is also attic access. Um, so we'll be coming up here, but I feel like this wardrobe up here is going to be great for jackets, like off season type stuff. So when we come out of winter, we'll be able to actually put our clothes somewhere, which is a wild concept when you've never had that in California before. And mom also loved all of our knobs. She's like, they feel so good. They're that crystal look and they feel so good. They're not like rigid, like the ones in our apartment are. And so when you continue, this is the second bath. It's a full bath. Uh, it has a bathtub and a shower, um, and it has lots of storage. It's definitely a space that we'd like to update. It's got a very small mirror. The plug is kind of in an odd space, but do you notice something in this bathroom that's familiar? <laughs> the sinks in both bathrooms in this house. Now I thought was a sign. The sinks in both bathrooms are the same sink that I wanted for the cottage and then found at the Canton Flea Market in Texas for the guest bathroom. It's the same sink. What are the odds? I mean, maybe that's not a coincidence at all, but I was like, I've never seen this sink in California. Here it is, you know? And there was two of them. And I was like, that's a sign this needs to happen, but it all has silver accents. So changing out the lighting or maybe just painting the lighting and changing out the hardware and to be brass and just updating the tiling and bringing it to the ceiling and just things <laughs> all the things eventually but not now so that was the upstairs let's head outside it's a little drizzly but i think we can see a little bit of it um, so if you come this way we're kind of back in the uh, formal living room Come down this way into the informal living room. You can go outside here. Now there's a couple of ways to get outside. Come out this way. I fell in love. One of the things that we wanted and we would have loved to find in the house is a pool. I mean, it's California. Why not have a pool, you know? I didn't know if we were gonna find it. I didn't know if it would be even something that we could afford. Uh, and then we found this place and it was totally private. We were gonna find a pool. I wanted it to be private. I didn't want people being able to like see us. I don't know. I'm weird about privacy. Uh, so and you can see just the wall of green. It's kind of on a hill so it goes slopes up. So the next house is kind of far away which is great um, so that we just feel so so secluded. The brick it's all bricked back here. Um, so really we have grass in the front yard. We have a great front yard, but the backyard is all brick. So there's no grass back here. So Kinsley will have fun in the front yard because the first time we brought her over here, she fell in the pool. She was harnessed on a leash. I was able to get her really quickly. Maybe she learned her lesson, but we need to figure that out and not let her be unattended by the pool. And then you go this way. You actually go up a few steps to our lemon tree. <laughs> It. So this is kind of an outdoor dining area. They had a stage, they had a long rectangular table here with a rug underneath. It was so cute. I could see us like barbecuing back here. Our lemons are thriving. We have a, a huge lemon tree. Look at this. Where are my lemons? I think I picked all the ones that were low. Oh, here's one. It's legit a lemon. Like we can make lemonade. Like our kids one day could have a lemonade stand. <laughs> How fun is that? Are those little tangerines or oranges? <gasps> it wasn't there last time. We have another fruit tree? I think that's, I think you're right, that's an orange. Yeah, look at them. That's totally an orange. Yeah, that is an orange. <gasps> well, I know there's another fruit tree over there too, but it's I not- smell, I, Oh, oh I smell God. lemon. Yeah, smell? It smells so good. 
I want to make fresh lemonade. Mm. I know, fresh lemonade. Like always having access to lemons. What is that? Those are lemons? Have, these are all lemons here. Oh. We need to plant, we can clean all of this up. Like it, it needs some, some, some love. We could get a avocado tree yeah. and um, I don't know, things. This smells so good. I'm going to fall. So there's also these um, brick steps that lead up this way. And this all needs to be cleaned up and like weeded out. And, but I felt like if I ever wanted to try my hand at having a green thumb, I could have a little herb garden up here. There's so much space. It, like imagine, if you had some imagination here, look at all of this that we could use. I love it, a whole full on garden. So if you come this way, I imagine like some, you know, patio chairs and stuff here that we can relax by the pool. And you come around, still super private, like neighbor right there, can't even see it. You come out here, I will show you a little bit of the front yard because it's when I knew this was gonna and could be potentially our forever home. So you come out the gate, and right now it's winter, so we have cut back the roses. But you go through this just winding, wrapping pathway through the rose garden. White on one side, pink on the other, and it got I got literally to this moment, and I was like, I don't know if it was for Romeo, but it, for me, I was like, yep. Just something clicked, and after 60 homes, I needed that to click. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, we're never gonna find something that we has all of, checks all of the boxes that we could actually afford. And it's the, there's a lot of things that you have to consider, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this empty home tour. This is a big dream come true for me personally. This is a big dream come true for both Romeo and I being together for 14 years. This is something that we have always dreamt of having a home in California and starting a family together. So this 2023 is just starting off really strong in the next chapter in our lives and we could not be happier. We are we are so excited. I'm so excited to decorate this space. So coming soon over the next two weeks, we're actually gonna be decorating the entire house with things that I already have. I actually have a few things that I've gotten over the last couple of months that I knew that we were getting this place that we can make some small upgrades here and there. And then eventually when the cottage is finished and perfected, uh, we're going to be doing some renovations here. Nowhere near what we did at the cottage. That was crazy. We took it down to the studs. We pulled up floors. This place has such great bones and not only bones, but also all the details that are on top from the flooring and the, the wood and the brick to the windows to, well, we do have to do some window uh, updates, but you know I know how to do that. Beautiful beams that we're gonna uncover. And then renovations on the kitchen and the bathrooms is where I see us changing uh, the most, just to make it more functional in the kitchen and in the bathrooms, just updating them, um, bringing in some different materials to really flow with the style of the house, but also our style. So I hope you guys are excited. 2023 is gonna be a great year. We are wrapping up the cottage this year in some form, but of course we will still own the cottage. There will still be times where we, you know, do fun stuff like Christmas decorations and change some things around. So I hope you guys are having a great start to your year. I will be here on this channel every Sunday and then also every Tuesday and Thursday over on my vlog channel, which is a completely separate channel that you can subscribe to. It's more of a behind the scenes, let's hang out, let's chat. And also if you have not heard, I am launching a podcast. It's called With My Own Two Hands. I've recorded two episodes and I'm having really a lot of fun with it. There's a lot happening and I'm just excited for the year. So I hope you guys are excited too and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys. I'm very excited about this staircase. Can you imagine the Christmas garland? I think I can. Can't you? I can, I can see the Christmas garland. It's happening.